This video will now look at how you can create some of your own rules and actions. Um, before we do that, if you come back to the uh, user group meeting uh, project area, then inside the document library, um, although this is a sort of uh, demo area, most of it's locked down. Uh, but if you look inside the uh, presentations folder, uh, there is an area here, uh, your presentations here. I've reduced the security of this one so that you can upload and use that same rule that's uh, on the presentations folder. So if I come down here and say upload, it'll find the file. So let's do cloud sample presentation. Upload it. So you have right access to the your presentations here folder. And I've also given you access rights to the published PDF area. Um, and now in the background, the system is going to be taking whatever you upload here and uh, creating a PDF version of that. So if I just refresh my screen, you should see any moment now. Obviously, it's the uh, server in the background that's uh, doing this. There you go. There's our cloud sample presentation created today by by the user. So, as I said, if you want to um, if you want to have a go, then you've got that area within this project. Um, if you've been following along these videos, we created a project earlier on for playing with data lists. Well, I'm going to go back to that same area. And under the document library, um, I've created three folders. Um, source files folder, a process folder, and a PDF output folder. So let's see how we can go about creating a rule and associated action. So just choose manage rules from the menu here. There's no rules at this point in time, so let's create a rule. Let's say create oops, eight PDF a PDF rendition. Um, going to leave it set at all items as the enter and all items and all we're going to say is I want you to transform content and copy the content I want you to transform it into PDF document and I want you to put the file into my project PDF output some other settings here I want this to apply to all sub folders so if I create any subfolders and they're, they're going to be treated the same way and I'm going to run this rule in the background so the end user doesn't have to wait it. So let's create that. There's my new rule and go back to my source folder. And we're going to upload a document. Um, this time we're going to do a, a word document. This is a bit like a contract. Here's a Here's the one for so now we've uploaded a Word document just to show that we can do exactly the same with uh, Word documents as we can with PowerPoint files. If I go to the PDF output, it's already created my uh, PDF output file. Um, so very easy to add that that rule. I'm going to add another one. So imagine that my source files once I've processed them. I know I've created a PDF. I actually want it then to, to move that file into the process folder. So now let's uh, go back and modify the rule. So we'll open that back up. Uh, here's the original rule that we had. I can add more rules. So we'll create a new one. And we're going to call this one move. Move to, move to processed. Uh, all files that come into this file, what I'm going to ask to do is actually move them. I need to select where it moves them to. So again, go back down to my project, processed. And we're going to say it applies to all subfolders, and we're going to say run it in the background. So I've now added in 
another rule to this one. Uh, I can change the order if I wanted to. I can just drag that. So perhaps I want to do the move first and then create PDF. I'm just going to leave it that way. Create PDF and then move it. And again, I could add another rule if I wanted to and keep adding rules um, to do different things to the, the content where it's been added. So now I've got two rules against that folder. I'm going to go back to my source files. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll upload some more content. All right, so upload some more files. This time we'll do a, uh, add that one. Just to show you that we can do more than one at, at once, let's go back and find my presentations again. And we'll try, uh, I'll take that one. IT Glimmer Warning. So I've got a uh, Word file and a PowerPoint file. So upload those. System says OK. So here's my content. Now remember the, the rules we had. The first thing it's going to do is actually go over here and create the PDF. So here's my uh, Health in Munich and my Global Warming PDF. And if I go back in my source files, you'll see that they've gone from here because I've now added that rule to process them. And if I look inside my process. So that just shows you how you can string a couple of rules together to start automating some of the, 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 the functions that you need to manage your content, allowing you to move items, create PDFs. Um, play with the rules, create your own rules. Uh, again, you can put together quite sophisticated ways of processing files just by uploading them using that, those tools.